Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And uh, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, Memorial Stones for Life. Memorial Stones for Life. In Acts chapter 9, there is a powerful story there, and I'm talking about Acts chapter 9, especially verse 39. You know, there's a woman uh, called Dorcas. And the Bible says this woman was full of good works. And after a fact, she was weaving uh, clothes for the poor. And she was ministering in the house of God. And she was, she was a big blessing to the people of God. And she was uh, weaving clothes for, to clothe the poor. And she was there. She was useful in the house of God. She was not just a pure woman, but this woman put her resources. She put her time, her talent, and her treasures to work. Her time, again, her talent, and her treasures just to be uh, of benefit to the house of God. She was contributing to the welfare of people in the house of God. She was contributing for the progress. She was contributing to the excellence in the house of God. That the house of God was not just a place where um, people would come and just give, but people could also receive help. And that was what she was doing. Uh, she was fulfilling ministry in the area of the helps, ministry of helps. That was what Dorcas was. And the Bible says tragedy struck the house of God. And she died. And when she died, the Bible says the disciples were like, no way. So as Peter was around the corner. And then, so they sent for Peter. And the Bible said, I mean, the disciples the, in that place, in that town said, we're not going to give her up that easily. Something must be done. Something must be done. And the Bible said when Peter came, when Peter came to the place, they lifted the cloths that she had woven and the dresses and the things that she had made for people, they lifted it up before uh, Peter and said look these are memorial stones these are things this woman has done these are great works these are handy works of the woman who is going to clothe the poor who is going to do all those things and so the things they, they raised before Peter became a memorial they are saying to her somebody this woman has a memorial you just can't take her away like that based on that they were telling Peter that we have a need and it's only this woman in the house who fulfills that need we don't have anybody else to replace her we don't have anybody else who is equally qualified to fulfill that office or to or to fill up that office and fulfill that obligation and fulfill that ministry and they raised what she had done so what she had done became a memorial stone they became stones of remembrance they became uh, objects of remembrance to tell Peter do something about it my goodness me Peter had no other option than to cancel and revoke her visa to heaven, revoke that visa, not to the extreme prejudice, but revoke it for another time. And Peter's prayer brought that woman back. So you see, this is where uh, scripture comes in. What are you doing in the house of God? Are there memorial stones that you have? Are there things that you, people can look and say, this person was not just a pure woman, but this woman employed her time. This woman employed her time. This woman employed her talents. This woman employed her treasures in the work of God. Sometimes you might not be the beneficiary of some of these investments in the kingdom of God, but sometimes your children and your children's children will be called blessed. I'm not saying this to solicit money or anything from you. No, but good works, good works. Are you, are, you, are you a detractor? Are you someone who rather takes away, subtracts from ministry, subtracts from, from, uh, from Christianity? Or are you somebody who adds to it? What are your memorial stones? This woman makes sure that she was useful in the house of God. Wherever you find yourself, brighten the corner where you are. Find a cause. Find something to do in the house of God. Don't just be a lazy about. Don't just be uh, um, a busybody in the house, not doing anything. Rather, engaging in nefarious activities that are detrimental to the health of the, of the house of God. But rather be useful. And like Dorcas, what she did became stones of remembrance that Peter stood upon. Lord, let her come back to life. Well, the choice to be useful, the choice to employ your time, your talent, and your treasures in the house of God always resides with you.
it's your call. So, see you later.